Since the end of World War II, the alien government conspiracy has been growing at an exponential rate. For the first time ever, we are offering undeniable photographic proof of this conspiracy, called from alien scrapbooks themselves. I've developed a new form of graphic software for image manipulation that allows the viewer to see the hidden elements within these pictures. Although personally, I have serious doubts that the little greys would actually keep a scrapbook. Why? Who says only humans can get nostalgic? Molly, this isn't an alien. It's an American astronaut. Well, everyone knows the so-called moon landing was faked. But if you zoom in on the reflection in the helmet, you'll see who was running the show on this massive hoax. But why would aliens want to trick us into believing we'd landed on the moon? Oh, because the aliens have been using the moon as a space station for years. It's the hub of their entire operation. <laughs> really, Scudder, these questions are yours. What's wrong with this one? Looks like a kindly old postman to me. Yeah, to the untrained eye. But look at this. He's secretly communicating with his alien elders. Come on. Who could be older than this guy? Are you kidding, Scudder? On his planet, he's a young punk. Notice the emblems on his hat. Each one symbolizes a different galaxy he's delivered to. Uh-oh. Oh, he spotted our camera. He's on to us. That was my fault. I, I take the blame for that. So he calmly turns around and goes back on his way to delivering updated mission directives to covert alien operatives living among us. That and free AOL disks. Eight EMS vehicles are on their way. We have a down craft in the loop. Okay, everybody, let's move. You know the drill. Hemorrhaging from the left antenna. Pull it off. It'll grow back. Are you nuts? Get rid of those paddles. They don't have hearts. Carter, didn't you read Little Grey's Anatomy? Carol, what are you waiting for? Intubate him. Um, uh, where? Under the fin. Carter, show her. Oh. Whoa, 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 watch it. That one's a floater. Clamp down that anti-gravity gland. By the way, Mark, your wife's having an affair. With who? It's not exactly a who. Know thine enemy like you know thyself. Did you learn that in the academy? No. Camp Winnie Hockey, Counselor Dave. When we left the FBI, we absconded with this alien training simulator. Along with some post-it notes and a really sweet bulletin board. Now it's your turn to pilot an alien spacecraft, to learn how to think like they do. How ironic. The only way to avoid becoming one of them is by becoming one of them. Precisely. You'll get points for each abduction. But watch out for unfriendly fire. You've got only so much time and your tractor beam energy is limited. Use the mouse to control your ship. Click and hold to beam up your target. Well, Scudder, they say those who can do. Those who can't, teach.
very, very good. You're just like one of them. Wait, you are one of them. I know what you're gonna say. It's just a guy in a hang glider. Well, you're wrong. That's no hang glider. That's what we call a centurion floater. A pterodactyl-like alien that devours humans whole. This one's really a stretch, Molly. Not at all. Here, let's back it up. Look at that. The poor guy is trying to kick himself free from the digestive sac. Huh. I can't watch. Sorry, I'm not convinced. Fine. You see what you want to see. You always do, anyway. But that poor man up there was... My father. I'm sorry. Oh, Molly, I had no idea. No, little man. You're right. You're absolutely right. I do see it now. A centennial floater, of course. <laughs> Centurion. This is pure, unadulterated evil. What you're looking at is a rehearsal for the celebratory dance the aliens are going to make us perform on the day they achieve global conquest. Ooh, the thought gives me chills. This is the guy I hate the most, brown noser. He actually thinks those flourishes are going to get him special treatment. I mean, he looks like he's enjoying himself. <laughs> Makes me sick. We're all going to have an achy, breaky heart on that day. Oh, look at these two. They remind me of my grandparents. Not exactly, Scudder. For years, the Greys have been trying in vain to replicate our leaders. This was a botched prototype for George and Barbara Bush. George was always a little too randy. He kept wanting the female operative to read my lips, if you know what I mean. Man, he just couldn't get the hint. Yep, there he goes again. He should put a little saltpeter in those flying saucers. Isn't that LSD guru Timothy Leary? Yes, and this supports a theory of mine I've had for a while. What, that Timothy Leary had a little pot belly? No, that if you're on drugs, especially psychedelics, aliens become confused and only abduct your shirt. Molly, I've told you about leaving the trailer at least once a day. Get a little air, walk around. Listen, I'm glad I caught you again. There's something I have to tell you. It's been on my mind for a long time now. I'm... I'm... Look at me. I can't even say it. Why can't I say it? I'm... I'm... Uh, a lesbian. I know. The whole solar system knows. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm a, a lesbian, lesbian Venusian. Venusian. I want to have, have sex, sex with females, females from Venus. Venus. I said, I said it. it. I, want I want some, some hot Venusian sex, sex with extraterrestrial <laughs> lounge, species, and gender. Like you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I do. I do understand. And Ellen, I am so proud of you. But there's a problem. You're still seeing someone. No. I'm from Mercury. <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, that explains why you're so hot. <laughs> Oh, how sweet. Nothing like a young couple in love. Sweet. Your sentimentality is clouding your objectivity. It's obvious these are two alien spies exchanging information and fluids. Hey, maybe later tonight we could pretend we're alien spies. Scudder, S Scudder, come on. This is serious. Just look at the bizarre sequence of communicative gestures they're going through. Even a child could break this code. Oh, yeah? What are they saying? Here, let's just slow this part down. 
Okay. All right. He's saying the mothership is in sector 4Z. We'll transmit new coordinates on star date 1701.395, and I'd really just like us to be friends. Figures. The real tip-off, of course, is her clothes. Aliens are very good at emulating our physical appearance, but they're always 10 years behind the fashion trends. Are we talking or are we not talking? I can tell you're flossing in that we're not talking way. Your watch is nine minutes off again. When's it gonna stop? I ask them. One minute I'm dreaming about watching a game of the god, and the next minute I'm strapped down to a specimen altar on a spaceship reading back issues of Grey Boy. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the articles, I suppose. You know what I think? I think you're really starting to enjoy these little episodes. Oh, now that, that is ridiculous. You always return with a smile on your face. That's because I'm so glad to be home in your sweet, uh, understanding arms. Mm, are you trying to butter me up? That depends. Is it working? No. Honey, if we're going to make this work, you're going to have to trust me. You are my best friend. <laughs> Not you, Murray. <laughs> And then there were none. The hell with Papathy. I don't like him anymore. You won't be bothered by Molly and Scudder hereafter. Hereafter. <laughs> They're in the hereafter. Oh, if only they knew how close they were. You see, we intercepted the gold master on the way to the pressing plant and re-engineered this CD-ROM using alien technology far beyond their you know comprehension. Something? These humans taste a lot gamier. Like dogs the truth dogs. is... Oh, you know what? You have a well, why don't I let my uh, yeah. friends explain while I freshen up my high Oh, hey, hey, we're ready. Let's go. Oh, hi. Hi there. How you doing? Let's see, what were we supposed to tell you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. You've been lied to and manipulated. <gasps> like JFK got killed by a single gunman. <laughs> Look, the purpose of the CD-ROM was not to deprogram you, but to reprogram you. You've been enslaved by us through mind control. We're your new overlords, and we're coming to take over your planet. What else? Oh, the weaker of your species will be eradicated, and the rest of you will be breeding for food. Why do you have to be so negative all the time? Tell them about the good stuff. Listen, things will be much better under our rule. We're highly advanced. We've got a little something called Atari. I think you're going to like it. Yeah, and what could be better than turning on your television and discovering a channel devoted entirely to music videos? It's awesome. Hey, tell them about microwave cooking. Why don't you tell them? All right, baked potato, boom, five minutes. Sounds pretty fantastic, huh? Look, anyway, our minions will be coming for you. I'm not sure exactly when. We're not a species that's chained to our date book. Figure millennium-ish, that good for you? That's cool. Yeah. So just sit tight, keep your eyes on the skies, and wait for your inevitable doom. Doom? Why do you use words like doom all the time? Why can't you be more positive? Look, I'm just trying to be honest. I thought we were going to lure them in quietly and softly, use the warm Oh, positive. yeah, well, excuse me, Commander Perfect. <sighs> Man, somebody's got a probe up their sphinx morb. <laughs> hey, I resent that. And what if the Great One heard you talking like that? Who, Flendork? Yes. Please, I can handle him. Hey, we're still on. <laughs> <laughs>